Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday. 19, 19, September. A lot of shit going on uh, this 24-hour period. Uh, let me see if I can summarize yesterday. Mm, Powell was neutral. Powell was a bit of a pussy neutral, but not too bad. Um, and effectively nothing happened. I mean, uh, it was mildly hawkish because there was a lot of people who thought he'd be a little more dovish than that. Effectively, it was kind of neutral, mildly hawkish. We had the dollar appreciate a little bit. You can see this is the gold chart here. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but it was really sort of a non-event. And for an event where there was so much confusion going in, I thought there was going to be much, much more of all. Uh, but in the end, there wasn't. Uh, we had the BOJ last night. They also did nothing. Dollar yen slipped down to 107.90. Um, they kind of said be on the lookout for more easing, but the fact that they did nothing zipped us right down. Um, 107.46 is important. We like being short dollar yen, um, just from a chart perspective. It stopped exactly where it was supposed to, up there at 40. And this thing looks like it might want to head a little bit lower. So short dollar yen today is on, on the radar. I think a sale between 98 and 08 um, should do the trick. Going forward now, we've got Norges Bank. They're going to probably hike, um, but they may not. So look, there's a. The market's pretty split. I guess there's a 30% or so odds of a hike tomorrow. SMB is also confused. Um, Markets are pricing in a cut, but less of a cut than they were pricing in. And then we also have BOE. Let's not forget the uh, Bank of England today. And I think we have uh, RAND as well, Standard Bank in, in South Africa. So there's a whole slew of, of um, central bank stuff today. Should keep us busy. Um, let's take a look and see what's on our mind. Let's go back to that gold chart because that's a very important chart today. This is GCZ in the futures. Um, we printed uh, down at 90 again, working on this sort of classic head and shoulders pattern here or this triple bottom, however you want to call it. There's a lot of room below 50 bucks. Um, so you want to keep your eye on this. This could be triggered by uh, rates higher. So watch your ZN. Um, ZN is moderately lower, 129.13 at the moment. We went up to 27.5 last night. Uh, and as low as 07. So if rates are higher, this is bad for gold. Um, if yen weakens or Swiss weakens, usually gold, there's some correlation. People uh, people follow those correlations uh, or else just follow price right now. Right now we're at 15.022. Um, we've been sort of 96.01 tonight. I think we're going to sell some through the... Through, um, the overnight lows and then we're going to add through 90 in sort of a classic momentum style trade and try and keep a core short 96.3 was the low tonight so you'll see us getting short on the 95 handle and on the 89 handle today that's gold we don't often trade gold as you know but it's a pretty good setup Euro, we've done nothing, but our trend line has come down a little bit. Uh, 84 today, this line. We now have uh, two daily highs at 76. 23.40 overnight. Here we are at 40. Really just stuck Euro, so we're waiting. We're waiting to see how this trend line fares. 
cable. We had some positive news last night. We're staying away from this. Core, sh core long Sterling Swiss um, still in the books for those of you who are playing along at home. You just want to forget about this one. But she's been working out all right. Um, now you just have to sit. It is not tradable now. You don't want to sell and try and buy dips. You just need to sit long. Uh, this should go back up to 130. So you have, you have another 700 points here. Um, 129.09's first first resistance. But cable itself, much tougher animal. Um, we got a few fair few highs up here, 125 and a quarter. All it takes is one more piece of good news, and uh, bingo. So we'll see. Sterling yen also same chart. Um, 13570. It's 100 points away, and dollar yen is now offered. So be careful, with sterling yen. Anyway, um, some good news out there. Also for those playing along, Euro Aussie. This guy has been a real uh, sucker puncher, but she's finally moving on to where. We think she's going to go up to 166, uh, 162.58 now. Now you just have to stick um, and maybe sell on extensions, right? So if this thing gets up to sort of 163 today. You can sell and then try and rebuy. But she's finally broken. Buzzy has turned. Um, we're waiting for Euro to catch up, which I think she, think she will. Euro Aussie is a nice horse. Uh, if you're if you're able to ride unemployment last night the the release looked pretty neutral uh, but as uh, JP Morgan put it you have to be careful of the optics uh, if you if you dig into the numbers they were bearish uh, Aussie has turned been a real bitch this Aussie tried to get short through 50 we sold some through 30 last night scratch 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 now here we are 67.90 we don't own any Aussie dollar shorts chopped out of everything I think a lot of people will be in the same shoes which makes me think that this thing can um, this thing can go further now especially if we have risk off Aussie downside um, looks looks the way stocks uh, Doji, perfect Doji yesterday. I can't believe we traded up to 10, 14 even. Where did we trade up to at the close? That was just such bullshit. Look at that, 13.75. How you doing? Uh, we sold 98. We fooled around in the 90s, uh, even the 86. And we resold 98s. Stopped at 08 for a scratch on the day. Here we are at 99. Uh, I think this is going to go lower, but she sure is hard to trade. So I don't know what to say. I thought 384 and, and we were going to be home free. But I think, I guess a lot of people thought that. Um, don't know what to say. I mean, our bias is left-hand side here. Gaps have been filled. But, I mean, that last hourly bar last night was with kicking the balls. Uh, unpleasant so we're square again but we like left hand side sell high ones I guess today if you weren't just sick of this you would sell sort of 04 to 08 and then you would you're gonna wait and see what happens at 80 uh, but we're sick of we're sick of stocks right now uh, more of a focus for us is is a ZN as we talked about on our interview on um, Tuesday and we'll be talking about ongoing short fixed income is the way for us this uh, recent move has given us an opportunity to get short ZN and uh, boons so here's the ZN chart yesterday between 20 and 28 was a nice short we dojied and so now it's important we make it we want to start heading back lower again today we've already made a lower low on the dailies uh, down to 05 um, if you haven't, if you're not short, you can sell sort of between 13 here and 20. I think for a move lower, um, we like this turn in fixed income FGBL, which is Boons. 
a little more stubborn. Um, we're core short. We actually have some offers at 62 on the 173 handle. Um, and then we, offer, we also have some offers at 174.10. But we're core short uh, Boons and we're core short ZN. It's early days, so this is a tradable short. You want to trade for average. There's going to be some funny business and there's going to be some funny moves. Um, but core short this stuff. For those of you who are watching at home, this is not a gap. This is not a gap that needs to be filled. This, These prices here, this is a new contract. And if you've never traded fixed income, now is not the time to start. Just watch for five or ten years um, and then start trading it. I don't need to explain all the nuances of this because there are a lot of nuances. Anyway, I've said enough, taken up enough of your time. Uh, we have our strategies in play today. We're going to be selling some dollar yen. We'll be watching this gold price very, very closely. Uh, short through 95, short again through 90. We're short, core short fixed income. Don't forget about that cable level at 125.25. Uh, That'll be news driven if it goes. And we're patiently waiting for a signal in euro dollar. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Come on. Do that. All right. See you tomorrow. Ciao.